as we prepare for uh, next year. But there is one thing that I must say that was a bit unique. Uh, yesterday, uh, we had uh, what the techies call the BV loss or the beyond vision line of sight. And uh, it's a drone flight from, it was a drone flight from the proximity of Mwanza Airport in an urban setting and where we had spectators and the infrastructure at LVC and Malaika Business Resort and the drone flew all the way to Juma Island, a typical isolated community. And this is the first on the African continent that was tracked that had UTMS and plus technologies in order to track it, follow it up, the control tower was following it all the way to the island. So for us, this was the first. So please give yourself a hand for Alain having that to happen. <laughs> now, uh, it is important to understand that this happened, there was a lot of work behind that to get that to happen, for it to be the first. Uh, there's an MOU on, uh, and application to the Tanzania Civil Aviation Authority and in the process there was a Lake Victoria Challenge Operations Manual that was created and based on that it allowed for this flight to happen. Uh, it developed the operating strategies to be able to work on the lake region which had very complex interactions and coordination that was supposed to be put together. Uh, the result of that now, it prepares us for, the, for next year because it allows us to understand the interactions and interfaces between components of the system, the people, processes, technologies, organizations. And so this has been a learning process and this is one of the first that we take from here. Uh, the second thing I wish to say is that the government of Tanzania thanks you, and I'm sure the Honorable uh, Regional Commissioner will state that, but on behalf of all our, uh, what you call MDAs, different ministries that were here, uh, they are all in favor of this because it's, as the former Minister of uh, Communication, Shostman said, it's a game changer. Uh, it allows us to leapfrog in terms of delivering services to the communities that we think are essential, that need this kind of service. But then also as we do all these things, the government always reminds us that we should follow the regulations that are there, which we are going to do. But it's the ability and the need for us to have a mindset that allows for these innovations to happen. And I think the government is ready. And this has been shown with the leadership of the Honorable Regional Commissioner, Honorable John Mongela, in Mwanza here. Please, let's give him a hand for that, please. <laughs> Show him that. Fin finally, as Edward was saying, this was laying the foundation. And, uh, and I've been asked to make a statement, or, uh, and this comes from the Postmaster General of the Tanzania Post Corporation. He was so much impressed with what you did here and impressed with the technology that he has decided that within the next four weeks he's going to issue out a tender for the usage of drones so that it can deliver services in the functions that he does. It's going to be a selective tendering process which we in the government we have to follow a certain process for that. We cannot single source. But, and then once the tender is ready, it will be sent to all of you who have requested to be given that information. So this is one of the opportunities that has come out out of participating of this, and it's an initiative that we want to see move forward, and hopefully we can report back at the next uh, event that we have on this LVC. So those are the sentiments, so in short, we are all for it, and as the clip said, let's work together, and we can. <laughs>